Alright guys, I kind of wanted to show you guys a little mule deer guide with the new map because not hardly anyone else has really done any mule deer guides. And I just think it would be really, gu really good for you guys to know. And uh, I just wanted to show you this lake right here is just insane for mule deer. I've got a full herd right here just uh, going attentive right now and alert. Actually, I didn't even know they was there. They just kind of started walking around towards me. But I've also got this massive uh, herd of mule deer, tons of bucks. So if you're hunting for mule deer on Rancho, this is definitely the first place that you need to look. And I don't even think I'm really seeing all the need zones yet, because I just got here. And I want to show you guys the rest of them if there's any more. So there's another herd right here beside me on my right side that I didn't even know was there and I just scared them. So I figured I better record that as well. It looks like there's a zone here and a zone here and probably two merged in the middle here. I would assume. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. I'm trying to just make sure there's not a five in there somewhere. Which I don't think there is, because I didn't see any. And I just keep spotting them. And let's see if there's anything good in this herd. I've only seen a few bucks out of this herd so far, so... Hopefully, uh... I actually really hope there is a level 5 up here. Okay, so there wasn't any more milk deer at that one lake. So, I decided I would come down here and show you the other lake that I really like to hunt for mule deer. And a lot of these need zones are stack need zones. So, like, if you have setups for white-tailed deer, you can also use them for mule deer. They'll drink in the same need zones. Or they just won't be there, but here in just a second, once we get in the render distance here of this um, mule deer zone, you'll see that they'll be up here. Now, I don't have any mule deer down in here for some reason, which uh, I think I've seen them here before a long time ago, but I don't know why they're not there, but I was just here a little bit ago, and I've seen quite a few mule deer up here on this ridge up here, and there's actually a couple of dilutes in here as well, so if I was you, I would check this side of this lake out and go all the way around it. And I've got mule deer up in here in these areas too. I actually shot my melanistic mule deer down in here. It's a female. So let's move on to the next spot. Okay, so up here at this really tiny lake is also a somewhat okay spot for mule deer. But if there's any chance of spawning bucks, which as you can see here, there's a level 3, so it can spawn bucks here. I would definitely check it out to make sure you don't have a diamond. I'm not going to do this arduous uh, task of calling all these deer out of the brush right now because I'm just doing this for you guys and I'm going to check that later but you have to use the deer bleat call so you would have to get within about 160 yards from the lake and then call them all out so that might take a little bit of time but it's definitely worth it if there's a diamond or a rare there. Okay, so here's another lake that you can actually find some mule deer bucks. And I believe you can actually find them pretty much all the way around this lake. I also just seen some, yeah, there's some whitetail feeding up in there. But, um, I would go and check all of these need zones for mule deer. Let's actually fast travel over here and see if there's any mule deer on the opposite sides of this uh, little tent setup that I've got here. And there's a couple, uh, there's a few does here. Yeah, it looks like just does here for me. But I would also, oh, there's a piebald. So I guess we gotta get that one down. And there's actually a pretty decent sized buck over there. And right beside the tent. So we're gonna wait for this uh, mule deer to stop. And then we're gonna take it down with the 30-06. I'd actually just stop right there for us. Let's go ahead and get in the tripod and uh, take this thing down. Definitely want to get it broadside because I kind of don't feel like tracking this thing for 100 miles. So. 
There we go. Now let's see if we actually had anything over here. It's probably going to be running if there is. Nah, looks like there wasn't anything in that little corner. So what we'll do is we'll go get this doe. And then if there's any mule deer over here, they should pop in the render distance. Okay, so we've got our pie balled up here. And let's just pick this girl up, almost that guy. And throw him somewhere in one of the rare lodges. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications. And like the video, I'm really, really trying to get to 100 subs, and it'd be greatly appreciated by you guys. Okay, so here's the next lake that you want to check. Obviously, you can see right here, I do have a mule deer zone, and it is pretty darn close to me. Yep, there's a doe, another doe, another doe. There's a dilute buck right there. There's a couple big horn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's dilute. So... Here's this neat zone, and I'm going to find some more for you guys if there is any. Okay, so we just found another set of mule deer drink zones. We have one right here, and over here behind this tree is another doe. I definitely recommend checking this spot out, considering there's other animals that tend to uh, stick up in this area. So they seem to drink on this bottom end over here and on this side. So there's a couple other things you guys need to know. Um, one, for weapons, you want to use something that is good up to class 6, I believe. So I would just stick with the 30-06, because that's probably the most powerful weapon that you could use for them and not lose integrity. Minus the uh, M1 as well, but it's the same ammunition. But that's what I would use to take them down with. Um, now as for the drink zone, they start drinking at 1430 to 1700, so that's when I would change the time to. Okay, so here's another area you want to look for mule deer. Um, I didn't pick up any of their zones, I'm not sure why. They all seem to be by themselves, but these are actually mule deer tracks. And I've seen like, I don't know, I've seen like three or four bucks up through here. And I also just shot a level five mule deer. But I completely botched it, however, this is a uh, troll rack anyway, so I just kind of figured I'd shoot it while it was running. So I didn't really care, as you can see it was a troll. So anyway, we got this guy, and uh, yeah, so we got him right here, and we just jumped him, and I was like, you know, that's a troll anyway, might as well just shoot it. So. Uh, Yep, check down in here, and I'm assuming they drink down here as well. So, we'll see if we can find any more areas for you guys. Okay, so at that lake that we was just at, there was uh, there was a couple milk deer need zones, and there was uh, a buck up here. And I also seen some bighorn down in here, so if you're hunting for mule deer, always check down here. Just like I showed earlier, I did kill a level 5 there, and check this lake and this lake this lake this lake this lake and you'll want to check this lake as well and what that's what I'm about to do right now okay guys so over here we have a really big mule deer herd which is actually really good news this is down here in this little corner here and also I would say that they also drink the whole way up through here because I've also got um, some mule deer uh, feeding zones up through this, uh, pretty much through this whole road here, which I know they don't show, especially in the black, but um, there's mule deer down in there, and they come, up, come, they come up to this lake, and they drink along this bank here. This is the first zone that I found on this bank here, but there's more up ahead, I believe, so... If that was you, if you're looking for mule deer, also check this lake. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to hit the thumbs up button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.